can you turn off the music, please? I have to talk to my students. I said, turn it off. Hello, art historians. Welcome to your art history class, summer 2020 at Fullerton College. I am indeed your professor. Believe it or not, I'm teaching this class. My name is Dr. That's right, Dr. Doctor, doctor, I'm getting my PhD this summer, finally, after 12 years of working on it. My PhD in art history from UCLA. And maybe some of you out there are graduating this summer too. Um, it's a weird time to graduate because we don't get to have ceremonies in person. But anyway, you can call me doctor now. Uh, but actually, a lot of my students call me Prof D, and I really like that a lot. So if you're watching this video, you're probably in one of my art history classes this summer. I'm teaching two, two classes. Uh, the first class is ancient, it's Art 112, Ancient Art History, from cave paintings to Gothic cathedrals. So um, we start out in the earliest times talking about um, fertility goddesses. Uh, uh, this is the Venus of Willendorf and cave paintings. And we move through lots of the ancient cultures like the ancient Egyptians who, by the way, worshiped cats. Well, they had their cats buried with their pharaohs. Um, we'll also talk about the ancient Minoan civilization. Woo, this is some like straight up sexy Minoan paintings. Can't wait to check these out this semester. And if you're not in that class, then you might be in Art 113, which is Renaissance to Modern Art. And yes, we will be talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and our friend Michelangelo. Uh, we will also talk about, in addition to Renaissance art, we'll also talk about Baroque art. Um, and I don't have any, I'm trying to, I was like trying to find all the stuff in my house that I have that relates to art history besides everything in it. Um, but that specifically relate to these classes. Mm. I did find this dress that I have that has some really nice Baroque cherub angels on it. Uh, so these are some of the things that we're going to be talking about. Obviously, we're not going to be talking about um, my candle version of the Venus of Willendorf, but this is approximately the size of the actual Venus of Willendorf. This is not the actual size of the David. Oh, sorry, David. Uh, but we will be talking about these artworks or the artworks that these are based on this semester. What this video is turning out to be sort of silly. I apologize. It's 10.30 at night, and this like idea to make this video just came into my head five seconds ago. So here it is, <laughs> low production costs. Anyway, I just wanted to welcome you to the class, and um, you know, an online class is different because we don't have lecture, um, so I wanted to like, express my personality to you a little bit so you get to know me a little bit uh, and hopefully I'll get to know you a little bit although to be honest mostly I just get to know you through like the assignments that you post your papers that you write what you post in the discussion board um, we don't have a lot of this kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction but um, to kind of aid us with that I am going to be doing at least one Zoom this semester. So I know the semester is really fast. So the summer course is like, it takes a whole semester and like squishes it into six weeks. So normally something that goes on and on for like four months, you're doing in a month and a half. So it's really fast paced. We're usually doing what we would normally do in a month, just in one week. So you kind of need to be on top of things. Uh, but I don't want to stress you out. It's just the first day. You don't have to do that much today. Uh, today, Monday, and tomorrow, Tuesday, it's sort of like get everybody enrolled in the class. I still have students emailing me, asking me um, if they can enroll. So I really don't like sort of kick things off until Wednesday. So what do I want you to do tomorrow? Um, or maybe you already did this today. I want you to log into Canvas. I want you to read the syllabus very carefully all the way through. I want you to click on announcements and read the announcements. I have two other announcements that I posted and I have information about um, the textbook, which by the way, you should go visit the student lounge. 
And then I want you to click on modules and I want you to see that there's like a whole introductory section. I would like you to start there and go through the introduction. And if it's your first time using Canvas, there's a small section that's like the introduction to Canvas section. I would also like you to go through that before Wednesday. Then Wednesday, I'll do a Zoom. And the great thing about the Zoom is that we can kind of interact live. It's not me talking to the little green dot on my laptop. Um, instead, I'm talking to you in real life and you can ask me questions and I can share my screen on Zoom. So like I can go in Canvas and like show you how everything's laid out, how you should move through the course, where the assignments are, everything like that. So uh, please, if you can, try to come to the Zoom on Wednesday. It is optional. It is not required. It is optional, but I highly, highly recommend that you attend that Zoom if possible. If you can't attend that Zoom, um, you can always email me. Uh, my email is mdabin at fullcall.edu or you can click, where is it? Click on the inbox in Canvas and send me a message directly that way. Uh, but I really would love it if you would come to the Zoom we could talk kind of, it's not in person, but in real time at least. Um, and you might have the same question that another student has. Um, and it's also a way for you to like see the other students in the class and kind of chat and say hello to them. Um, and I don't know, maybe we can crack a couple jokes. Uh, all right, so. All I wanna to say tonight is welcome to the class. You're going to become art historians now. You're going to learn to look at an object, describe it with words. Uh, you're also going to learn how to analyze it. So we'll talk about how objects, artworks and sculptures and buildings, how they function, um, who made them, why, when, for what purpose. And then we'll also talk about kind of the society at that moment and how the artwork can tell us things about society um, and how what we know about that culture can also tell us things about that artwork. Uh, so hopefully you're excited for this class. It's, it's going to be really fast paced. So hang on to your seats. <laughs>